Each year, communities across the country conduct a point-in-time census of people experiencing homelessness in order to quantify, understand, and ultimately address homelessness. This count is mandated by HUD. If you have had to rely on paper forms for counting people living on the street or for obtaining counts from shelters that do not participate in HMIS, then you have likely come to the conclusion that there has to be a better way. Pointintime.info provides detailed information about using technology, specifically a mobile app, data store, and command center, to essentially automate the count. On this website, we've posted an analysis of various trends in homelessness taken from pick counts from around the country, and we invite you to look at these at your leisure. We've also posted a library of resources from HUD, as well as training and support materials for the app. The app is easy to use. Volunteers download the app and register an account that is specifically associated with your region. User information is stored. Each count gets its own key and users register with that count. This allows administrators to associate each survey to a particular volunteer or staff person within their count. The app can be used for both sheltered and unsheltered surveys as well as observation data that is collected when a survey cannot be done. Each survey is geotagged and provides location information on where each person was interviewed or observed. Geolocation supports planning, reporting, and targeting of resources. And if location services are unavailable or if data is being entered at a later time, the address can be manually entered. The surveys contain all of the elements that are required for accurate reporting to HUD, plus several elements that support local work, such as the option to collect name and date of birth for documenting chronic homelessness, creating by name lists, and integrating with coordinated access projects. Surveys can be saved as draft or submitted directly to the data store that is created for your region. You can come back to these saved drafts, complete and submit them for inclusion in the final report. While volunteers are in the field, count administrators can manage a command center where pins are dropped in real time as surveys are submitted. We use shape files to delineate any geographic boundary. These files allow different communities to collaborate on a count, like the cities of Somerville and Cambridge did here. The shape files allow you to report by COC, but our technical approach also allows us to support reporting by other region types, such as census tracts and congressional districts. From the command center, you can also export a CSV file with all of the data collected on the app, archive records as you clean up the data, and generate a report with just one click. For more information, again, please check out pointintime.info and let us know if you would like a demo and talk about how your region can use these tools to essentially automate the count.